Hi guys, so today I and Clement are at the drilling stage, a very precise processes. Plus or minus 50 micron, 15 KOs per head and per hours. And here we have more than 200 heads. Let's have a look. During the 1990s, we used to drill a minimum diameter of 400 micrometers. Today, we can drill a minimum of 150 micrometers. For better accuracy and thermal management, specific materials are used, such as aluminum, wood, or melamine, at the top and the bottom of the stack up. Depending on the series, the drilling machine manages one panel at a time for high-tech products, but it is also possible to install up to four panels at the same time, also depending on the thickness, with one to six drilling heads. The drill must be perfectly shaped and comply with the rules concerning the number of holes that can be performed by the same tooling. For high-tech PCBs, only new tools are used. For standard PCBs, the drills are sharpened up to three times before being renewed. The drill change is automatic. The machine selects the dedicated drill to use in the drill rack, checks the diameter and the misalignment, and starts drilling these new hole sizes. For the panel containing four boards of 15,000 holes each, a total of 60,000 holes must be checked. To help with visual control, on the edge of each board, all holes of different sizes are drilled and inspected after the drilling stage. The panels are also automatically checked with a hole verification machine. For the internal control, the boards go through the x-ray machine, which checks the entire positioning in relation to the inner layer. Wow, that's extremely fast to drill 150 micron. Can you drill smaller? Yeah, absolutely. For HDI product, it's mandatory to do smaller than that, between 50 to 100 micron. But for this, we need to use laser drilling machine. Let's see, we will have a look on that. The laser drilling machine can generate vias holes between 50 and 150 micrometers. Current toolings are based on two main types of laser, UV or CO2 laser, and sometimes both, depending on the process. Here, there is no top or bottom material. So we can only drill one panel at a time and the laser stops when it hits the copper on the N1 layer. There are two main controls, to ensure that the drill holes meet the requested dimensions and to check the cleanliness. Okay, so that was the standard and laser drilling process. Of course, there is some more like uh, back drilling or buried holes, but that will be another video series from IK Group. Okay, so what is the next step? Well, the next step will be chemical copper. Stay tuned. <laughs>